Hey guys, thanks for joining us for the latest video here at Hayward Tech Support. Today we're going to show you the low voltage wiring for the Hayward uh, heat pump. We're going to show you the wiring inside the heat pump, the wiring at the Omni, and the programming as well. So this covers uh, model H HP31204T, HP31205T, and it works very similarly for the round style heat pump as well. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so I'm in front of the uh, heat pump now. So we're going to open the enclosure here, and you can see We've got a uh, BO Cool and a BO HE. So you're gonna run two wires to the HE, two wires to the, uh, to the COL. And uh, so it's best to use just like an 18 by five irrigation wire. Um, that's very common. You can also run two separate two cable conductors, but um, so that's what it's gonna, where you're gonna tie in in the heat pump. Just remember which colors go to which uh, port here. So just notate which colors are in COL, which what, uh, colors are in, are in HE. And now let's go to the Omni. All right, so now we're going to take a look inside the Omni and show you where the wires go. So you can see you've got your four pin connector here for LV1 and LV2. So just again, color match the wires. So let's say for HE, the heat, um, color match the wires into LV1. For CO, for cool, color match the wires into LV2. And um, if it's a situation where you've already got a gas heater tied into LV1, then in that situation, what you'd want to do, take your uh, two wires for, let's say, HE for heat, tie those into LV2, and then we can use a high voltage relay for the other low voltage communication. So you, in that case, you take the two wires and plug them into two and four of any open, out, uh, open relay, and just remember which relay you plug them into for programming, and just remember that it's high voltage relay one, two, three, and four. So just remember where you tied the cables into and for programming and now we're going to show you programming okay so after you tap the screen to wake it up this is the home screen that you're going to see you're going to hit this arrow on the right side you might have to hit it twice but until you get to config you're going to tap config and then once you tap config wizard it's going to make you put in a six digit id that's the msp number um, to get that number you tap system info and then it's at the very top i'm not going to show you in this one because i don't want to reveal it and i've already entered it so we got config wizard edit right arrow and then you're gonna go bodies of water pool then you're gonna go heating and cooling and then you're going to add heater what type of heater heat pump right arrow name heater I'm gonna leave the name heat pump which relay is it wired to so in this case I'm gonna pretend that I wired the heat side this is for the heat side up to LVR2 Check mark, Just right arrow. And then does pump have a valve? No. Does the heat port support, support cooling? Yes, if you have the chiller, right arrow. Which relay is it wired to? And then I'm gonna select uh, as if we wired this into eight high voltage relay one. Check mark, scroll to the right. Heater priority duration. So if you have a gas heater and a heat pump, this was basically how long that, that heater will run before it switches to the other heat source so oftentimes you will prioritize the heat pump to try to get it up to temperature if it doesn't get it up to temperature then you'll have the gas heater take over if you're trying to heat a whole pool um, otherwise if you're just trying to heat a spa generally you would only select the gas heater but um, so you can select that to whatever number of hours you want right arrow minimum allowed air temperature for heater yep we're going to leave it at 50. Minimum operation speed of the, of the filter pump. I generally bump this up. You know, it, the get, uh, heat pumps need less flow than the gas heaters, but I still generally bump this up to about 70 just to, so we don't run into low flow issues because if the, water flow, if the filter gets gunked up and we run into a lower water flow situation, the heat pump will throw a code and stop working. So to alleviate that, I bump the minimum, minimum operation speed up generally. And then we're going to hit the home icon floppy disk icon to save check mark to save and restart the system's going to shut down restart and then your heat pump's going to be programmed in all right thanks again for stopping by for our video here today at hayward tech support if you got some value out of the video like the video subscribe to the channel uh, drop any comments if you have anything to add that really helps our channel so we appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one